hello guys welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see how to create aws lambda function using java and trigger that aws lambda function using s3 bucket which means when user uploads any file to s3 bucket then our lambda function should be triggered so let's get started this is sample project created in java using maven you can download the source score from the link in the description below so what we need is a simple class which implements request handler request handler is interface which is provided by aws let's check inside what methods we need to implement in our code so this interface has two parameter one is input and another is output so input is event that aws lambda receives when it's get invoked and output is a response that AWS Lambda returns when it's get invoked. So this interface has only one method that we need to implement and this method has two parameter one is input and another is a context object. So basically context object is uh, context is object which allows you to access useful information available within the Lambda execution environment. So let's implement this method in our class for implementing handle request first we need to do is the handle the input event so basically aws lambda function is event driven platform and when it gets triggered for different endpoints it contains different event format which means when it gets triggered for s3 bucket it contains different formats then when it gets triggered by api gateway or sns in our case it is getting triggered by s3 bucket so it contains the format like this so which has some json payload and which contains some information related to object so we are using the s3 notification class to parse this json payload s3 notification s3 when notification class is the helper class which is provided by AWS. Now with the help of par uh, with the help of this class we have passed it. Now our input is ready. We can use the this uh, parsed object and uh, we can get the information inside this event class. Now uh, as output is concerned, we are returning as a string and I'm keeping the value as an error. So our uh, lambda function is ready but before that just uh, take a quick look at pom.xml to see what dependencies are needed to create this lambda function. This is the pom.xml which we are using in our project. So it has the uh, following dependencies. So first one is AWS lambda java core. This is the main dependency which uh, we are using to create our uh, lambda function using Java. It uh, has the interfaces like uh, request handler or uh, request stream handler. Uh, second one is uh, AWS Java SDK S3. This is the library which mainly used to communicate to S3 bucket, uh, which means you can uh, upload or uh, download any file from s3 bucket using this library right now we are using s3 event notification class from this uh, library which is mainly used to parse the input event uh, and next one are uh, log dependencies which are mainly used for logging purpose so that we can see the logs in cloudwatch Next one is uh, AWS uh, Lambda Java event. Right now we are not using this dependency in our uh, code. But suppose if your Lambda is uh, getting triggered by API Gateway or CloudWatch, then in that case also you need to uh, parse the input event. Then you can use the Pojo classes from this library to parse that event. And uh, below that uh, we are having some uh, maven plugins which are used to build the jar uh, properly 
so our lambda code is now ready to deploy so just let's build the jar so i will click uh, right click on the project then click on run as maven build and type clean package and run now build is successful and our jar is ready so let's go to the aws management console this is aws management console to create lambda function just type lambda so select uh, first one and click on create function so give you can give any name here so i will select the runtime as java 8 for the role i will choose the existing which i have already created so basically this role has access to the s3 you can configure role according to your requirement and i will click on create function so we will add the trigger for our lambda function so we, in our case it is s3 so we will configure now s3 so for th that we we are going to Uh, give bucket name as a test demo two, which I have already created. So and I will keep the event type as object created, and keep the rest of the thing as it is, and click on add. After that, you can click on the save. so for the lambda configuration i will keep the <coughs> time out as 15 second that will be enough for our function and for a handler what we need to do is we need to go inside our code and give the package name dot then class name double colon then method name click on the save now here we need to upload our uh, jar which is this one click on the save so now our lambda function is ready to use so we will go and upload some file in s3 bucket so we will click on this bucket and upload file go inside the documents text text file and upload now we have uploaded one file in s3 bucket now this should trigger our lambda function let's check out uh, the logs in the cloud watch so we can see here this is a log log what we have put in our code lambda function is invoked 
it has you know the function and this is the file name which uh, we have uploaded into the s3 bucket so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching